Hello everybody, welcome. So today I'm going to be showing you quickly how you can uh, use dual monitor within DaVinci Resolve. What I mean by that is, let's say you have more than one care, one monitor and you want one monitor to show you uh, your timeline and all your settings for DaVinci Resolve and you want another monitor to show uh, the full display of the preview window. So that way you are seeing a more uh, close-up view of what your end product is going to look like, your final video is going to look like. So it's great for when you're color coding or whenever when you're doing color correction or when you're working with bunch of timelines stacked on top of one another within DaVinci Resolve, having one window, just uh, one monitor dedicated to just the preview, it really makes life easy. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. You see this top monitor is the one that I want the uh, full preview window, this window right here, to appear on that monitor. To do that, I'm going to switch over to, hold on a second. So I want, this is my timeline. I'm actually working with only one timeline, but it's still useful to just have the top window showing, the top monitor showing uh, this right here this one right here I want this on there so to do that basically what you want to do is go over to workspace under workspace one thing that you really want to make sure before you move on is this right here dual monitor or dual screen is turned off or unchecked so that way uh, this is not going to be interfered if you have that on uh, it's going to interfere with uh, you having the uh, preview window being displayed on a whole separate window on a whole separate uh, monitor okay so this is unchecked this option right here and it's uh, unchecked and then what you want to do is uh, go down to where it says uh, video clean feed this is where you want video clean feed and then once you go there DaVinci Resolve DaVinci Resolve will automatically uh, detect all the other monitors that you have connected as I said, I have more than one monitor connected, so I have these options to choose from. And then if you know exactly which monitor that you want to choose, then just go right ahead and pick the one that you want. If you don't know which one is which, one way you can do is just explore by just clicking on see one of them and then see where your window appears. For example, I just clicked on one of them. It switched over to here. And then if I go back and uh, video clean feed, and I click on number four, it's actually number four is the one that I'm using right now. And I don't want that. So I have to go to number two. Now I'm in number two. And then you will be able to easily see it switched over to there. Okay. Another way to find out is by right clicking on uh, your Windows uh, desktop and then go to settings. And then if you hit identify, you'll be able to see each monitor will show the number. Each monitor will show you its number. So if I switch back here, I click identify, it goes one, two is the top, this one right here is three. That's how you can identify. So if then video uh, clean feed, I know which one is which, okay? So I will just choose the one that I want. And the fourth monitor actually is hidden because it's for this teleprompter right here. Okay, so now I can easily go ahead and uh, do my editing and it will automatically appear on and it's real time. So there's no delay or nothing like that that you have to worry about. Everything is there. Okay, and uh, one other thing that uh, is useful for this is like, for example, if you are editing a video that has multiple videos stacked on top of one another, sometimes you really need the space and at the same time, you want to see clearly uh, the or on the preview. So it's really useful to use this. So yeah, that's that. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving this video a thumbs up. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.